Hi guys, this is Vinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the what is the Power BI. Power BI is a cloud based business analysis and intelligence service. Here is the term cloud based. What does it mean? Cloud based applications are hosted on an internet or virtual internet. So from where the end user or organizations can access the BI related data like the dashboard or KPI and other business analysis. Power BI is a data visualization and business intelligence tool. Here the business intelligence tool. What is the function of the business intelligence tool? Business intelligence tools like the it helps extract the data from the different sources, clean the data, transform the data and then create the reports. And finally, convert the data into the interactive form like the reports and that reports can be shared on the internet. Microsoft offers three types of Power BI platform. The first one is the Power BI Desktop, a desktop application. So we will focus on that one. This desktop application help us to load the data, to extract the data from the different source, then clean the data, analyze the data, and summarize the data, and then finally create the reports and convert the data into visual form. Second one is the Power BI service. SAAS SaaS software as a service it means the software and the hardware both are managed by the vendor so we just use the service third one is the power bi mobile for ios and the android service this service helps to create the application for the ios and the android device components of the power bi power bi is a collection of the different type of components as you can see the diagram say power query, power BI question and answer, then power pivot and data management gateway power map. All these components work together to make the power BI functional. Now, we check the details of the power BI components. The first one is the power query. So we can use this power query to access the data, to load the data from the different source, to clean the data and to transform, transform the data. The next one is the power pivot. Power pivot, we can use this for data modeling. The next is the power view. So power views has many visualized tools. It means you can visualize your data in different shape or you can represent data in visual form. Then next up power map. Power map again is a visual tool. You can visualize the data, geospatial data in 3D map. Then Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop application or it's a like platform where like all other components work together like Power View, Power Query and Power Pivot. So using the Power BI Desktop application, you can load the data from the different source, clean the data, transform the data and modeling the data. And finally you create the report. Next is the Power BI website. It's a platform where you can view and share the Power BI apps or solution. You can create the dashboard and share the dashboard. And the Power BI users can dice and slice the data on this website. Next is the Power Service. This Power Service. You can use this service for sharing the workbook and the data view. And this service refresh the data after a specific interval. The next one is a power question and answer. Using this option, you can discover the data or you can discover the insights of the data. You can write the, your question in natural language. The service understand the question and reply, reply, the, reply immediately. Then power by mobile apps. You can like view the data or reports on the mobile apps like the Android, Windows, iOS. But the important thing is the dashboard and must be published on a cloud service through the mobile hosted Power BI instances. After that, you can view these reports on this Power BI mobile app. Next one is the data catalog. In data catalog, using the data catalog, you can search the query and you can reuse the query. Then next one is the data management gateway. Using this component, you can schedule or you can manage the interval for refreshing the date. Architecture of the Power BI. 
as you can see in the diagram the left side we have the different type of data source it means the power bi can extract the data from the different type of sources like flat file sql databases or data fit blank query azure cloud platform so there are more than 99 data sources where from the power bi can access the data behind the scene the power bi use the etl that is called the extract transform and load first of all extract the data then data transformation it means at this stage we can clean the data then load data and finally then we create the data uh, report from that data and the reports uh, we can create the database from the dashboard and dashboard can be shared on the website finally end user can interact with our dashboard power bi desktop application so we will focus on this application as we discussed in power bi desktop application we can extract the data from the different sources then we can manage or we can clean we can uh, transform the data finally we can we, we create the reports and from the reports then we create the dashboard and dashboard we can share through the power bi service online publicly so that end user or business users can interact with that dashboard building blocks of the power bi the first one the dashboard this is very important dashboard it is single page or you can say it's a canvas where you can put the multiple reports and that, then we can share the dashboard through the online services for the public use so later on the end user or the bi users can interact with the dashboard and can dice or slice the data then right side we have the reports reports is a collection of the different type of visuals it means we can visual the we can visualize the data our data with the different type of visuals then we have the data set data set is nothing but it's a collection of the data in power bi we can create our own data or extract the data or extract the information from the different sources then left side we have the visualization we can visualize the data in different shape because the power bi provides a different type of visuals like the map representation card visualization stacked area chart tree map pie chart and many more so these are the important building blocks of the power bi so guys this was all about the introduction of the power bi thanks for watching the video